many of us can be witnesses today that life yeah. is what we would call our bank. Yeah. Life is what we would call something to deposit and something to yeah. receive out of. Yeah. All right. But you do know there's uh, what we call a bank teller. Yeah. yeah. Then there's a banker. Yeah. And then there's what we call those who uh, sit in the cyber area. All right now. And they steal and they destroy your bank account. Yeah. Yes. How many of you ever been in life, uh, ever got a notice from your bank that told you your account was hacked? Uh -huh. All right. Seemed like your life savings was taken out of there. Yeah. You was trying to figure out what do what did I do to these people that wanted to just go into my bank account? Yes. Well, family, I come to encourage you today to let you know that that's how the life is with the enemy. Yeah. Yes. Notice the text did not call the thief the devil. He just called him a thief. Yeah. Amen. I uh, wish y'all had talked with me today. I, I didn't come from my house just to sit there and make y'all look at me pretty. I know I look good, but I, I can't have church. Uh, uh, because if we if we be real today to testify, Reverend, I've been in some places in my life, bank where I thought I should have been dead. Oh, uh, y'all come on, talk back with your boy like you feel. I'll preach. Uh, uh, if you if you testify, Reverend, I ain't been good all my days, but somehow or uh, some other God. Some way to let me see the one more day. We look at the text, the text shows us, uh, Dr. Miles, that on the surface of the basis of this text, that we know what a thief is. Yeah. Yeah. So, a thief, Dr. Walker, is one that takes that which does not belong to them. Uh, they, 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 they will often try to acquire that which does not belong to them without being noticed. But however, they will destroy things in order to get what they want and will take and, and, and they will even go to the extent of taking somebody else's life. Yeah. Wow. My, my, my. But can I talk to you today and tell you, my brothers and sisters, that there is a difference, however, between a thief and a robber. Oh, God, help me preach to those people. For the text, for, for, for this text uh, examination, identifies the action of a thief, whereas Malachi's identify the actions of a robber. Uh, you, you, you remember the text? The text says in Malachi, they say, will a man rob God? In other words, the thief and robbery are crimes that are what we would call interrelated, but which makes people use them, uh, use these terms interchangeably because however there are major differences in the crime. Come on now. Oh, I came to talk to y'all today. I don't know who I'm talking to but God told me to tell you that a thief is in your life not a robber. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You, you, you thought you had somebody trying to rob you of your victory but now somebody trying to steal your victory. Y'all ain't going to talk to me because a thief conducts his operation in the staff when no one is around he does not want to attract any attention. Yeah. So that's why when you come home from work and discover all your stuff is gone, that's because a thief has been in your territory. But when you got a robbery, it is also a form of a thief. But as a robber, it has the, uh, the, the intention to, to take away the property of someone else. But in addition, he, he makes use of violence or intimidation. Yeah. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna talk to me in here, so, so when the Lord asks us, will a man rob God? He is saying we don't do, uh, we don't tithe and give the church. Uh, blatantly, we, we in essence, uh, strong on God out of giving uh, and not done quietly and unnoticed. You know, when you get your check, you look at it, they say, you're supposed to give a tip, but we look at our bills before we look at our time. That's robbing God intentionally. I came to talk to somebody and prophesy. You do know, you know, you may not work, you may not have a job, but you got some talents, and instead of you using your talents for God, you use it for the intent to make money, but still you're robbing God. Intentionally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's not done quietly 
is done unknown us. Yes, Come on now. Pastor, what this got to do with the youth department? I'm glad you asked me. I came to teach the babies that in order to be blessed, you got to learn how to do it the God's way. Now let, 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 let me give you the identity of the thief. Because first Peter 5 and 8 uh says, be sober, be diligent, be because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may die. In other words, your adversary. I'm about to make somebody mad real quick, uh, uh Dr. Walker, because your adversary is not the person that made you upset. You know, it bothers me, Walker, that people get mad at folk that make them mad and they say that they adversary. But can I tell you sometimes, some people make you mad so they can get you to look at your own you. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Amen, right, right so wrong. Uh, because if they be real, God, the biggest adversary is not the person on the outside, it's the person that's on the inside. Come on, man. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Your, your, your biggest adversary is not, it's not the person that cut you off uh, uh, on your way to church. It's not your sponsor uh, that, that get on your last nerve. It's not the person that sings in the choir and doesn't sing your favorite song. Your biggest adversary is not the preacher that preached the message that ended you uh, wiping up uh, uh, on one side or the other side. But your adversary is the devil, y'all. They ain't gonna talk to me. And he is right here in the text. Uh, that's why we got to stop fighting with one another. Stop getting angry with one another because your adversary is not the person that's next to you, but your adversary is the enemy because the enemy wants you to know that if I can get your mind, I can get your money. And if I get your money from your mind, I can get your worship. You got to stop being mad at the people around and start letting the devil know you have no room in my house. Yeah. The word, the word thief comes uh, uh, from the Greek word which we call klepto, uh, which means to steal. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives a picture of a bandit pickpocket oh, no. mm -hmm. uh, for a thief who is uh, so artful in the way who he steals uh, that his exploits of thievery are nearly undetectable. Uh, this reminds me, y'all, uh, of a movie we call Life. <laughs> Uh, Y'all do know the movie Life. Uh, uh, Life was uh, had two stars in it uh, uh, by the name of Eddie Murphy uh, and Martin Lawrence. Uh, Y'all do know Ray and Claw, don't you? Uh, Ray and Claw. Uh, Ray and Claw met each other uh, at a restaurant. Both was broke. <laughs> Both didn't have no money. Ray was one that was still, and Claude found him a job. Y'all gonna talk to me in here. Claude was on his way to be a bank teller, so he took his boot out to dinner to celebrate. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. And am I right that I tell the story? He took his boot out to dinner, but forgot he owed the man that owned the Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. That owned the restaurant. And he took him to the place, but he met a man named Ray. Ray say, hey man, you don't know me. He say, no. He say, my name is Ray. He said, well, I'm Claude. And then what happened was Ray got the shake in his hand. And he got in that pocket. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. But Claude didn't know what happened until the bill came. And that's all I come to tell you. That Satan is so quick. He'll snatch some from you. And you won't even know until the bill comes. That the enemy didn't snatch some out of your pocket. Because that joker is a thing. You got to tell somebody, be careful what you let around you. Be careful what you let around you. Oh, he's a thing. That's why you can't get them to go to church like you want to. Because he pickpockets their brain. He, he, he makes them pick up books and read stuff that everybody else writes in their own philosophy. And that he pickpocket our kids now. Oh, yeah. Slipping away through our major cities, and that's why we got we got people now telling us uh, that the only way you can get monkey pops is if you're gay, uh, bisexual, don't even want to tell the truth. Uh, that you can get that stuff just by touching some y'all ain't gonna talk to me. That's the stuff they pickpocketing us. My, my, my. You gotta understand the enemy. His job 
is to deceive us. But Jesus uses this word to let us know that the devil is very cunning in a way that he steals from people. He knows that if he does it outright, his actions will be recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So therefore, he steals from people in such a deceptive way uh, 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 that he often accomplishes his evil goal before they even know he was he has even stolen from them. Uh, often. Walk up. The devil injects thoughts into a person's mind to steal his or her peace, yes. joy, and belief. Yes. Uh, so the Greek word klepto describes a thief uncontrollably urged to get his hands into someone's pocket so that he can take that which doesn't rightfully belong to him. Oh, that's true. That's right. Yeah. I find it interesting that this is where we get the word kleptomaniac. Oh, I wish I had some people Come on, read that, that. that study the words. I like studying the words. Walker gave that to me. I wouldn't. I didn't do words at first, but Walker made me do it. He said, "Can you go learn some words? Then your preaching will get a little better." And I like I that. that. And I like that. No, it got the strong kleptomaniac, which describes a person with a persistent uh, neurotic impulse to steal. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Just as a kleptomaniac can't be helped. Can't help but to steal. The devil can't help but the devil can't stop stealing because it is his impulse and his very nature to steal. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good grief of America. Yeah. Uh, this, this, uh, this, this is pricely the nature and the behavior of the thief because Jesus told us about him. And so understanding that the devil is who we need to understand his purpose as well. Yeah. So the text says that. The thief comes to steal, comes to kill. So he lets us know that we need to make sure that at first glance, that, his, he, that it appears that means to kill as to take someone else's life. We always think that he want to take us out physically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But there's another Greek word, which is pura, oh which God. means to sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Uh, it originally referred to the sacrificial giving of animals on the altar. Uh, it, it, it could mean to sacrifice, to surrender, or to give something up that is precious or dear. It is practically used in a religious connotation to denote, to, to denote the sacrifice of yeah, animals, and it had nothing to do with killing in the terms of murder. Oh, well, I come to tell you that the enemy is trying to get you to sacrifice some stuff. All right, all right. Oh, uh, shut Jesus. Right. I thought they were going to shout at him. You, you think he want to kill you naturally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That joker trying to kill you so, so spiritual. Uh, that joker trying to take everything in you. Uh, yeah. What are you trying to take away from it? One of the main things uh, that the devil wants to kill in you uh, is your worship. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I come to talk to you. The devil yeah. wants to kill your worship. Yeah. Look with me. Yeah. If you don't mind Psalms 22 and 3 said, uh, but thou Oh, thou that inhabits the praises of Israel. In other words, we take this scripture and say, Give praise to God. God inhabits the praises of his people. But however, for us to come into his presence, we must worship him. So if we don't get into the presence of God, we cannot grow spiritually. And therefore, we die spiritually. Oh, what you trying to tell me, preacher? I come to let you know that the reason why the devil writing this check for your life is because he knows that if he can get into your worship life, he can stop your prayer life. He know if he can stop your prayer life, he can stop you from trusting God. He can stop you from believing God. And I come to let him know that everything that's connected to me gotta have a worship life. I will not die in this season before everything that y'all ain't gonna talk. I wish I had some bona fide believers in here that would testify and be a gangster for God and say, I let all hell know that before I die, everything that's connected to me gonna get a worship life and a relationship with God. Yes. Yeah. And we must be, God help me, part of 
praise. Praise. praise must be a part of our morning worship experience. Yes. For if we want to be in the presence of the Lord doing our time together on any Sunday or any gathering or any meeting or any place, we must understand that we must offer the sacrifice of worship. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's right. Ooh. That's all right. Pastor Gotti, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't worship God unless you have a correct prayer life and a relationship with him. Yeah. Because the Bible says God is a spirit. Yes. <laughs> yes. And they that worship me uh -huh. must worship in spirit and in truth. Yes. Now, kind of, if, I, if, if I get in trouble, whoop me in the pastor's study. All right. uh, but the problem with some of us churches today is that we have worship experiences. But people don't receive the real encounter because we only worship when music is going on. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, you man. better say that. Yeah. Oh, Walker, I, yeah. I thought I came to the church to really yeah. do what I was talking about. Uh, 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 we, we, we only worship when people are uh, up and hollering and, and the apostle is saying, lift up your hands, uh, oh ye gates. And, and we, that's the only time we worship is when, is when we, we worship when, when, when somebody else is standing up in front of us and we can be hidden in front of a big crowd. That's when we worship. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Yes. Help us, help us. We got real tones then when everybody else is talking. Oh my God. Oh, shucks, Jesus. I, I can't look pretty. We, we, we got real economy when everybody else got it. But where's your prayer life when you got yours? Help us. Help us. That's why the enemy can attack the church because we got too many entertainment worshipers. Yeah. 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 Right about. Yeah. Well, what that got to do with him writing a check for my life? Can I tell you, he wrote the check for you a bit of entertainment and not a real intercessor. Woo! Come on, man. That's why our kids can come to church and they be high and drunk and we lay hands on them and they purge, but they still leave and go back to the same thing. Come on, man. We only did it out of showmanship that we can lay hands and we didn't do it out of the real Come on now, what? So when we come into the sanctuary to worship, we need to get our mind off all the stuff and the negative things in life and concentrate on God. Yeah. You know that was the old song we used to sing when I was a little boy. They said we have come into His house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You ever met somebody say, I went to church, <laughs> but you can't find nothing can't find to, uh, that satisfied them about the church? Yeah, no, no. The pastor Ooh, preached too long. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were shouting too much. Right they, they, they was getting on their nerves with all that howling. Right but, 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 but you went to church. Yeah. And the reason why is because the enemy had already stole from you. Yes, yes. This is why. This is why. I'm sorry, but I, I like Facebook, but I'm beginning to hate it now. All right. Because we made Facebook Live our sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, help me, Jesus. Oh, we, 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 we made it so easy for folk not to want to come to church anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know if they really worship it. They just putting up emojis. Yeah. 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 Don't even hear what's saying. That's why it's so easy to come. The enemy like this now. Yeah. yeah. That's why we see folks on Facebook live in depression and they kill themselves directly yeah. on live. And then we got all these so called prophecies uh, and want to get up there and they sissies and they punks and, and, and they bulldoggers and don't want to tell the truth. Shut up, bro. We're going to watch it now. And this couldn't watch it now. We're going to watch it now. Yeah. Better watch it now. It's a back to school. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Because the devil has stolen from us. Yeah. Our place of worship. Yeah. yeah. Worship equals acquisition. Yeah. God, that in other words, if we don't worship, we in other words, we don't worship to get stuff, but we get stuff based upon our worship. It is this. Oh, I, I wonder. I wonder is this microphone on? I know I can hear myself clear. I couldn't hear at the house, but maybe that's why I couldn't hear because God was talking. Uh, but can I come? I come to tell you, uh, and I want you to know I'm preaching better than you responded. But worship is what brings revival or renewal. Worship brings us into the presence of God. Worship is with the power of the Holy Ghost. It, it produces uh, and it gets us to something. Breakthrough, deliverance, peace, and victory. And and when we worship in spirit and in truth, we are preparing the way of the Lord. When we, when his way is prepared, he steps into the service and does a great work in the people's lives. And the devil can't do anything to stop it. But he can't, but oh, I'll come to tell you, he can't stop them from receiving victory. He can't but stop them from receiving breakthrough, deliverance, being set free. And he can't stop them from being whole because we came into the presence of the God. The enemy wants to hinder your worship. Yeah. It's because of your worship is spirit. You attack. God, you 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 attack what he already has. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. you, you do know. You yeah. do know we don't come to church just for the saints. Yeah. You better say that. You know, I was a little boy. I used to hear these Baptist preachers uh -huh. well. walking with me outside, bro. They would say, we came to revival for the saints. Well. The saints is to be revived and the sinners is to be uplifted. I find that to be very misconstrued. Come on now. Because if you be real about it, the saints ought to be the ones that's there for the revival to help the sinners become revived in Christ. Oh, help me, Jesus. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. We, 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 we can't. Huh? How dare you tell me, Pastor, I'm gonna do a three night revival just for the saints to get revived. Maybe they, they ain't got revived on Sunday. If they ain't got no revival on their worship in a midweek, how in the world they gonna get it in a three night? No, we came here to see people get break. We need the saints on the altar so that those that need a real revival will come forth. Yeah. All right, all right. I dare you lay hands on the same people you've been laying hands on all year long. Watch out, watch out. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of watching folk on Facebook prophesying, calling themselves bishops and apostles and, and pastor this and pastor that and, and they lay hands on the same sick folk that get down there and puke up the same sickness and get right back up with it. Come it's on, become man. worshiping real. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, it's a show. Oh, it's a show. Oh, yeah. The devil would like more than to steal and kill the worship. 
which would bring glory to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wants you to be so distracted, depressed, and selfish that you can't even worship God. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's right. Everything we do should bring glory to God. Yeah. All right. That's why they tell us you must praise him in all things. In other words, when you're in your distress, just worship. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. When you're in your heart, just worship. Uh -huh. When you're in your tears, Worship. Just worship. Well, in your midnight hours, yeah. well, just worship. Just worship. Uh -huh. I believe the artist, the artist, Bishop William Murphy, said it best in his song when he said, "Praise is what I do." Uh -huh, uh -huh. When I want to be close to you, well, walking in the I lift my hands in praise. Yeah. He said, "Praise is." Who I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I'll praise him while I can. Yeah, yeah. Then he said, I'll bless him at all, at all times. Yeah. But this is the cause of life. He said, I'll vow to praise you yeah. uh -huh. through the good yeah. and the bad. Through the bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll praise you whether happy or sad. Yes, Come on sir. now. He said, I'll praise you. Uh, in all that I go through, I because praise yeah, is what I, I do. Yeah. Is what I do. Yeah. But that ain't what he ended at. He said, because I owe it all oh, to, to you. Yeah. To you. Come on now. Can I tell you the enemy is so jealous that because you praise and worship God, he feels that it is his deity to attack. Yeah. <laughs> you don't believe me? Yeah. Look at Matthew. Yeah. You don't believe me? He even tried to attack Jesus. Yes, he did. He tried. Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 through 9. He said, And again, the devil taking him into an exceeding high mountain yeah, yeah, yeah. and showed them all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them that said unto him, All these things I would give thee. Yes, yes. If thou would fall down and worship me. Yeah. Uh, when Satan told Jesus he would give him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, if he would have fallen down and worship, it implied that he had such power and control over the kingdoms and their glory. Well, my, my, my. I like Jesus here. Yes. Jesus wasn't fascinated by his words. Yeah. Oh, because Jesus, remember, in Genesis 1, by declaring in the beginning of God created the heavens and the earth. Uh -huh. In other words, Jesus understood you can't give me something that That's I already, already got. Mine. Come on now. Oh, good grief of America. I feel God moving me. He said, you, you do know the enemy will try to offer you stuff uh, that you already have in your hands. Uh, but many of us are so silly, we don't even realize that we even have it. Come on, the Father that we worship and we fall for this foolish. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. This is what the devil still attempts to do to us today. He offers us what he cannot deliver. So the devil is trying to still kill our worship by offering us what does not belong to him. He tells you, oh, I give you that a husband of your desire. Yeah, he tall, dark and handsome. But he a bone broke. He's an abuser. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Leave that part out. We leave that part out. He not only abused you with his words, but he abused you with his hands. Uh -huh. That ain't nobody that God gave you. That's something that the enemy is trying to deliver that he cannot. He gonna give you that woman that's fine, big booty with a coke bottle shape. <laughs> Come on now. But you find out, I wasn't just going to beat up on the men. What, what's wrong with her? But you find out that she uh, has a problem with keeping herself up. Come on now. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me in here, Jesus. You find out she don't even like uh, supporting you in your own ideas. Come on now. God help me, Jesus. Oh, I'm trying my best to preach it like I feel. You, 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 you find out that she ain't going to even walk away from some stuff that she wants you to walk away from. But, but she, she called you her, her husband. Oh, Lord. Oh, Bam. There you right. Work it out. God said that ain't what I, that ain't what I wrote for you. No. That is why the devil wrote a check for your life. 
put him down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can I tell you, he gave you that job, but the job didn't carry you through the year because it had insufficient funds to carry out the attack on the spiritual life. Come on now, come on now. Work it out. Can I tell you, the enemy wants to put a hedge between you and God, yes, you and the church, you and your worship, because he tries to destroy that relationship. Yeah. It doesn't matter how physical, emotional, financial, spiritual, or simply with this little life stuff. Because the enemy uses things to distract us by pain, hurt, and resentment. Yes, yes. If you be real today, many of us have dealt with resentment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Many of us have dealt with uh -huh. hurt. Well, yes, amen. Amen. But I come, I see I'm boring y'all. Come on now, come on. Uh, you are, right, you are right there. I come Stay there. to tell Stay there. you Stay there. that the devil is not successful with his chicks. All uh, right, all right. Because if you study the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. you self-approve of what the devil is trying to write. Yeah, yes. You learn the word of God and hide it in your heart. Yeah, yes, Lord. For it is a sport of spirit. And sharpen in any two-edged sword. Yes. For it will protect you from the enemy's distractions. Yes, it will never give you, uh, never give up uh, and allows you to be led by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, that's why I come to tell you that uh, the reason uh, say Satan check did not make it. Come on now. Come on now. It's because he had insufficient funds in the bank account. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he tried. He tried all that he could try. Oh, what you said, Reverend, because when you look at this thing that he wanted to try, I did tell you. That he wanted to uh, to destroy you. Uh, when you look at the word destroy, uh, it is a Greek word uh, called alampumino. Oh Lord, other words. Yeah. It carries uh, the idea uh, of something uh, that is ruined, uh, wasted, uh, trash, uh, devastated. Uh, destroyed. In other words, we discover that if the thief is unsuccessful in his attacks from you, I convince you to sacrifice what you hold dear, then he will destroy. That's why he's trying to ruin your marriage. Around you, that's messy with you. 
the bright 